Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead in this afternoon update. And as we look at the uh, weather pattern, you can see upper level high pressure, one area uh, kind of rotating here across the desert southwest, another one uh, near the eastern coast of the United States. And uh, we have seen this trough here finally begin to lift off uh, over the top of this high, and that's allowed the temperatures of the atmosphere above us to warm up a bit, resulting in a decrease in the rainfall chances and that will likely continue here uh, for the next few days. Looking at Robin's Toyota Futurecast, you can see that uh, again if we have anything as far as those spotty showers over especially the southeastern half of the area this afternoon they will wrap up quickly this evening. We'll see a clear to partly cloudy sky tonight. Tomorrow expect a mix of clouds and sunshine again the stray afternoon storm will be a slight possibility. If it does develop that will end and we'll see a partly cloudy sky tomorrow night and then Thursday, expect a mix of clouds and sunshine. Again, possibility we could see that stray afternoon thunderstorm, but chances right now 10, 20% at best. As far as what happens in the week ahead, we're going to see another one of those upper level disturbances kind of settle into the middle of the country. You can see the upper level ridging here across the southern sections of the U.S. Notice as we move forward, and one disturbance stays to our north but it should result in more of a flow off of the Gulf of Mexico and that could result in the chance for the shower thunderstorm again a little bit of a chance Thursday Friday and Saturday and then those rainfall chances will pick up you could see another upper level low kind of settling into the Midwest uh, come Monday and this will settle even further to the south uh, moving into to late Monday Monday night Tuesday and that will allow the rainfall chances to reach their peak basically for the first half of next week and then we'll see that upper level low kind of fill in and as a result rainfall chances will decline somewhat. As far as rainfall potential we could see a decent amount here uh, early next week you can get kind of spotty for the next few days but once the rain does begin we could see totals that eclipse an inch over the northern sections of the Arklatex elsewhere further to the south further away from that upper level low again the rain should be more scattered so rainfall totals will be a little bit lower and again these could change some models do show upwards of uh, two to three inches possible across the northern sections of the area so all that being said your forecast for tonight is looking partly cloudy not too concerned about rainfall for tonight as temperatures will be near or slightly below normal with lows mainly in the low 70s tomorrow expect a mix of clouds and sunshine most of us will stay dry as it'll be hot and humid with highs mainly in the middle 90s likely we'll see that heat index approach 100. 10 day forecast does indicate again the stray afternoon thunderstorm returns friday saturday and sunday uh, actually thursday friday and saturday increasing this weekend reaching its peak early next week and then uh, gradually declining some as we go through the last half of next week but the good news with the rain, we're not looking at total washouts on any particular day, but we will see lots of clouds, and as a result, uh, temperatures will be below normal as we will likely see highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s and lows that will mainly be in the lower 70s as we work our way into next week. So all in all, typical summer here for the next few days uh, with highs in the mid-90s, not much as far as rain, but those rainfall chances will begin to increase this weekend.